Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a stillborn Let's Play from about six months ago. Uh, this is Pokemon Omicron. I always intended to continue playing this, but I kind of didn't for reasons other things were happening. I'm just trying to remember the fucking controls here. <laughs> so, uh, we're going back to it now because I just spent about two hours recording footage for Earthlock, which was basically unusable, unusable because um, not because of any quality issues for once, but because um, basically I just got nowhere. Nothing happened, it was basically two hours, hours of grinding and fucking around and dying to bosses, so uh, rather than upload that and waste everyone's time, I thought I'd, I'd do this instead. You know, we can pick up uh, we can pick up Earth Flock again next time. Or at some point in the future, in general. We can go back to that. Uh, but, until then... We have things to do. We have something else to do that's, that's a bit more interesting. I know I could have kept going with Earth Lock, you know. Grounded a bit more, maybe spent most of the day, getting to a point where I felt, felt comfortable in beating the bosses. Um, I did actually have one attempt that went quite well, but then I fucked it up, but I won't go into details. We'll talk about more. We'll talk about Earthlock next time I play Earthlock. Right now we're playing Pokemon, and uh, I don't remember any of these Pokemon. Actually, that's a lie. I do remember having a horrendously underpowered horsey, um, but... Uh, I think this is where we were meant to be going. I had a quick glimpse at my old video just to remind myself of where the fuck I was up to. Hmm, don't remember running into one of them earlier. The official fairy bait Pokemon. I think I've got something that Horus might actually be able to defeat here. Not bad. Yay, well done. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I was making my way through here and then stuff went bad. Maybe I got beat by this guy. Really can't remember exactly what happened, but I stopped progressing. God, that guy really is a ninja. He's completely invisible. <laughs> um, we're going to start with the smoke screen because we know Horus ain't going to beat this thing. So we may as well... Uh, May as well give me every advantage I can get, you know. I'm not quite sure why my Cubone's called Custard. <laughs> I'm sure it made sense to me at the time. This is the problem to coming back, coming back to a game, um, you know, several months after last playing it and first playing it. Uh, you tend to get a bit perplexed about what's going on. That's a hell of a headbutt. I'm kind of impressed with Sharina. Really pulling away here, I've got to say. Yeah, take that, you literal sack of shit. Literal sack of shit. Ninja risk it. Oh, well, bye then. I did wonder how I was meant to progress through this area, but I guess that answers it. You'll note, by the way, I've got music now. I, uh, before I started recording, I, I found the option in the menu to, to give us music. Apparently, prior to starting playing it at some point, I stu I booted the game up, turned the music off, and then never played it. <laughs> Which is uh, pretty cool, I think. It's pretty cool. It's nice having music. I know there was music in my last video, but I, I put that in myself, and it took far too much effort and that might have been the reason I uh, I never did a second part, to be honest. Because I just couldn't be asked editing music in. But now... Now the game has its own music. So we're on to a win here, I think. That's, um, that's one HP. Regardless, I won. You can't take that away from me.
Victory! Yeah, you better ninja escape. Uh, hmm. Do we have strength? Is that a thing we have? I feel like it would be on my Q-bone if it was on anything. And it's not. Uh, what's, what's escapes back, isn't it? Yeah. Controls are a bit weird. I.e. they're not the way I have them set up when I play an emulator and therefore they confuse me. Oh, we do have strength. Maybe we should teach that to someone. Maybe that will be helpful. Can we actually use it there? I guess not. I didn't think we had a gym badge yet. We'll come back to that then. Uh, where are we going? Down that ladder, I guess. Come on, give us something good to absorb. That's not good to absorb. I want a rock or ground type, if you would be so kind, video game. Oh, hello. Being a Pokemon Ranger is awesome. I get to explore co cool places and meet cute girls. I think what you mean is I get to explore dark caves. And meet weird pink bunny things. But I'm not judging. You put your dick where you want to put your dick, mate. We all have our own uh, interests. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be the death of Sharina, but it's okay. We have custard. We have custard based back up. Uh, I don't know which is stronger. I don't know if Bone Club with the same type attack bonus would do more damage than strength or not. Okay, now. This thing's a monster. We're going to go with another Bone Club because we know that will kill it. This game takes no prisoners. With uh, the new super casual uh, Pokemon Let's Go games on the horizon, I guess uh, this is this is the uh, this is where the hardcore juice goes. I come to this game if I want to fight something that's going to absolutely push my balls into my body. I don't know about those Let's Go games. I was I was all for them. I was very positive at first. Um, I know a lot of people hated. As soon as we heard anything about them, especially with the, the catching mechanic and everything, people were dead against that. And I'm completely fine with it, to be honest. I think it uh, I think it worked just fine. Not having the option to battle wild Pokemon is a bit lame, I'm not going to lie. But um, having the, the let's go catch ball system, that's what I'm calling it now. Is, is perfectly fine, honestly. Um, the thing that offended me, if you want to use that term, the thing that triggered me, um, is when we saw a bit more footage and we saw that the trainers in Viridian Forest were a lot easier than they are in the original Red and Blue games. And it's not like they were difficult in Red and Blue, you know. They had Caterpies and Metapods and shit, you know. They weren't exactly challenging you, but... They'd gone from having like three level five Pokemon to one level three Pokemon each. And especially considering there's a co-op mode, so you literally 2v1 these Pokemon. It just seemed a bit absurd to me, you know? Like, obviously it's a Pokemon game. It's never going to be the most hardcore thing in the world. Although, having played Pokemon Rejuvenation and Re Pokemon Reborn, I can say that can be the case. But... You know, there's there's degrees, there's degrees. I want to, you know, at, at least feel like I have to put some degree of effort and not just press one button and instantly kill all opponents. Oh, speaking of double battles, I wasn't aware this was a thing, but I'm okay with it. Get him, Horace. Look at that! Look at that damage. Shredding up the Geodudes all day. Could have been a 1v2 and Horace would have won that one. Good job, Horace.
Yeah, you gain defense for some reason. You you be the tankiest little bastard in the world. You know what? While we're here, let's see what this chick has to say. I don't know if she's. Yeah, I wasn't sure if she was going to be a trainer or a. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. We'll come back for that once we've beaten the gym. I believe we have to come through here to get to the gym, though. As I say, I did have a look at where I was at, and the, the video finished with me in this cave, so. I know this is where I'm meant to be heading, but I can't remember the exact whys or wherefores. I'm sure it'll all come flooding back in time, though. I like this music. Such a shame I didn't have the music on for the start of the game. It could have been a lot more dramatic that way. Hey you, let's warm up this cold cave. Let's have some special time with our Pokemon. Oh, look at the purple hair on it. With hair like that, he probably is Pokemon sexual. Uh, I don't really want to fight this with... Fuck it, we'll go for it. He's level 10 now, he's got water gun. He might be able to... Yeah, he can do some damage. It's fine. Good job, Horace. And a Geodude as well. Like a red and blue hiker. Oh, sturdy! Sturdy's broken. Don't care what anyone says. Just ban that damn thing. Never really played Pokemon competitively, I'm going to be honest. I mostly just enjoy blitzing through the games, but from what I've seen and from my limited experience with, with online battling... What the fuck's going on here? Oh, hello. Um, yeah, Sturdy is an obnoxious move. <laughs> Yeah, you moisten those rocks. Rock Polish. Never knew Geodude was Polish. There you go. Nintendo are very uh, multicultural. I mean, they've got an Italian for their main mascot. They've got Polish Pokemon. They've got they've got all sorts. Okay. I do enjoy navigating areas in the pitch blackness, by the way. It's pretty fun. I kind of have a crush on Owen, and Owen likes Megan, and I don't even know if Megan likes boys at all. Ooh! Now this is how you know it's not an official Pokemon game. References to lesbianism. When are we going to get lesbians in, 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 in Pokemon Let's Go? That's what I want to know. Not a very inclusive franchise, is it? In fact, I don't think there are any lesbians in any, po in any Nintendo games at all. Any of them. When, when Sam is finally going to come out of the closet? I mean... If you look on Rule 34, then yeah, she came out of the closet a while ago, but something tells me that's generally not considered non-canon. Which is a shame. It'd be nice to see uh, Nintendo embrace their porn community. They're all just fa- Fuck. I just went back to the start, didn't I? Great. As I was saying, they're all just fans, you know? Doesn't Nintendo love their fans? Because if so, they should they should include badly drawn deviant art porn in their uh, in their games. Now 
Now I'm aware that I'm talking utter, utter bullshit right now. But that's not going to stop me. And you know why? Because I have a calling. I feel like I was put on this earth to talk fucking garbage over Pokemon games. I should play Pokemon games more often. It gives me a real opportunity to just shut my brain off and, and ramble about nothing. It's fun. Come join me. Ent enter my circle of absolute fuckery. I'll have a whale of a time. Was it down here? Is this what? Yeah. I think so. Oh, fucking. 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 Oh, fucking. This is fine. I'm okay with this. If anything, I feel like I'm kind of power leveling here. Whereas earlier, I felt like I was underleveled. Suddenly, I feel like I'm uh, maybe going a bit too hard. It's always the, the problem with Pokemon games, trying to keep the balance right, you know? Please don't kill Horus. Well, so much for that. No one listens when I tell them things. Yes, I will, I will use Custard. Join me, Custard. Help me fight the foes. Oh no, electricity's power was weakened. It seemed like a bit of a dumb thing to do, really. Give, uh, give ground types a move that weakens electricity when they're all fucking immune to it anyway. I don't know, as I say, I don't really follow the Pokemon meta. Maybe maybe Mud Sport, which, can I just say, is an amazing name for a move, is, uh, is commonly used, but... Something tells me it's probably not. Not the case. It's not not the case, which means it is the case. Hey! Once again, bullshit. Oh no, Horus. Oh well, you can stay dead. Sorry, a new badge is required. Did I not? Ah. Oh. Was were HM moves always above switch and below summary like that? That seemed like an odd place for it to be. Oh. Hmm. But how can we actually get it to emerge? I don't know, man. I'm just here to bust open rocks. I may need you to bust it open after all. Mmm, it's warm. Did you do this? Well, whatever you're doing, it's working. Quick, put your hand on the stone. Joe put their hand on the stone. Oh, something happened. Is that an unknown? Oh, it's a cute one. It's got little ears and shit. And a, and a ball sack. It has a ball sack just, just hanging below. A single eye, two little nubby ears, and just just a scrotum. It's got levitate, hasn't it? <laughs> Whoopsie! Whoopsie. I did a dumb. Oh well, let's hope Sharina's got it in her. To take down the mighty nuts of the unknown. Oh fuck, could, could, you, could you just hit, please? That would make my life a lot easier. If you play ball for a second. There we go. I'm aware suddenly that uh, Sharina has flash and it would have been a lot easier to get through this cave if I'd remembered that. Oh well. This ain't going great. I'm honest. I have to pop a potion here. Eh? Turns out I don't have any potions. I've got berries. 10 HP. Is that worth it? Probably not. Okay, what we're going to do. What we're, what we're going to do. Is we're going to absorb. And we're going to pray for a paralysis. Nope. 
Well, my team just got wiped by what is universally considered to be one of the weakest Pokemon in the entire fucking series. <laughs> you can tell I'm a pro at this. I should restore my Pokemon to full health, you're right. And then I should just go jump out a window. Just go throw myself under a train. Pokemon is too hardcore for me, it is, it's official. Why is my Cubone so much bigger than that one? Slight, uh, slight size difference there, isn't there? Something, something meme, my son again. ETC, ETC. Off we go then. If you notice uh, sudden jumps in the in the in the video, then that's just me cutting out, blowing my nose, and sneezing. I'm sorry, hay fever's a bitch. Summer is a bitch. Everything is a bitch. Bitch. Honestly, if uh, we could just be done with seasons, that would be great. If the Earth could just stop rotating and we could. I could just move to the part of the world that's in perpetual, like, late late autumn, early spring, somewhere around there, you know. Somewhere just sort of on the outskirts of winter, that's where I'd like to live. I don't want to live in the dead of winter all year, that would be unpleasant. It's been bad for the heating bills. But, um, yeah, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in the region. Somewhere where the pollen count isn't permanently out to kill me. That would be, that would be swell. Get clubbed, biznatch. And again. You can enjoy all you like, but I still have a club. I do like the, the concept, the design, if you will, of a Pokemon that just just bludgeons things to death, you know? You got all these fancy Pokemon pulling off uh, special moves and launching magical water spouts and creating whirlwinds of leaves and things. Cubone, he, he just hits things. He just, he's got a club and he, he, he caves the skulls in with it. It's, it's a no-nonsense approach that I can get behind, you know? Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna have to like find the soundtrack to this fucking game. I'm grooving on it. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be on my iPod. Don't have an iPod anymore. Well, technically I do. It's, it's, it's on my desk in front of me. But um, I, uh, I, I've finally moved into the modern century, and I'm, I'm listening to music on my phone instead now. Of carrying a, a second gadget around with me at all times, it's uh, it's nice. I feel like I'm a young kid. I feel like I know what I'm I'm doing with technology and stuff. It's weird how fast technology moves, really, because I mean, the iPod is only like a 15-year-old gadget. It's not like it's from the dawn of time, but. These days it kind of feels like it, and the unknown makes ground moves miss with levitate. That hasn't changed. That hasn't spontaneously uh, shifted. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Cubone ain't taking this fucker down. But you can set it up so that someone else can. He's going to take one for the team. He's going to lower this bastard's defense. Yeah. I, I never really got Tail Whip. Like, why does slapping them with a the tail make their defense drop? Like, maybe if it was like Tail Wag, maybe it was a bad translation. Like, they, they were wagging their tail and it was cute and so their, their, their guard went down. You know what I mean? That I could sort of understand. But, uh,. No, I don't really get the, the whole tail whip concept, really. Ah, oh, that was a good headbutt. I think we got this. We finally managed to, to take down the unknown. We ventured into the unknown. And we've come back victorious. Ooh, 
Ooh, leech seed. I like leech seed. Yes. Can we forget flash? We can. Excellent. We don't need it anymore. We're done with that shit. Oh, wow. I've turned into Nard from Earthlock now. This is my Nard voice. <laughs> An unknown. They're quite the rare Pokemon. Unknown only show themselves when there's great power about. You must have a bright future. Why are you here anyways? Oh, my package arrived. Excellent. I have to go. Joe, I think you should go to Fianga City. <laughs> this is what I love. I absolutely fucking love about like amateurish sort of ROM hacks and like RPG maker games and stuff. Just the names they come up with. Just 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 the the we're trying to come up with an original fantasy name name and it just sounds so dumb it's untrue. I'm gonna sneeze again, hang on. <laughs> Jump cut. Um yeah. Fianga City. Yeah, we'll go there. It's to the southwest of here. His friend Wilson has a laboratory there. I recommend you see him. I'm sure he'll be very interested in you. You're sending a young boy to go see a weird old man because he'll be interested in him. It's quite a feat to conquer a Pokemon as rare as the unknown. You should come check out my gym. I warn you though, it's much harder to beat than an unknown. I have to go. Joe, Devin, thank you for all your help. After you, Joe. I didn't do that. They just they just pushed me out of the area. Can I go back up? They've left! What is this Illuminati bullshit? <laughs> They're hiding under the rocks. When I click on that rock, it makes me take a step to the right. That is so weird. I, I wasn't pressing right then. I was active, pressing the activate button on the rock and it was... It was automatically making me take a step. <laughs> I believe that rock uh, is a big fan of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Where it wants me to take a step to the right. Yeah, I used the shortcut correctly there. I'm doing things. Can't find my way out of this fuckhole though. A hole of fuck. Hey, a Wizmer. I quite like Wizmer. Do I catch one? Add it to my team. I say I like Wizmer. I don't like Wizmer. Its face is fucking terrifying. But I do like the evolved form. Of Wisma. I think we have enough enough dudes on the team for now. We already don't have enough experience to go around for them all, so. Fuck Wisma. Fuck it right off. We'll keep our eyes open for something else to get. I'm trying to think what we got so far. We got a grass grass fighting. A ground. And a water, eventually water dragon, right? A bit of fire in there would be nice. I like to cover the three, the three basic elements, if you know what I mean. I generally like to have a flying type, just because fly is a HM. It makes it so much easier to get around. If we got a Moltres, we could kill two birds with one stone there. Why can I find a Moltres? Imagine there'll be one of them quite early game, right? Where's the gym? Is that the gym? Doesn't really look like a gym. Just like a giant suppository, to be honest. Okay. Oh, hey there! Sorry about the mess. I haven't been cleaning the lab lately. I've been out on field work. Like the unknown mission you helped me with, remember? No. Well, I may have gotten a bit distracted. I'm studying the statue. I think it may be of a legendary Pokemon. You can help if you want. I've been collecting scriptures and prophecies about legendary Pokemon. My research is on the table in the book and the book in the table if you want to check it out. Maybe you can find a legendary Pokemon. Like Moltres. Where's Moltres? <laughs> Doesn't let me read the book. What is this bullshit? I like how he has a Nez as well. 
I, I get that they were just using the sprites available that looked like technology, but that that's a NES. Dear guy who made this game who probably isn't old enough to know what a NES is, that's a NES. Right, uh, where, where's the gym then? There's definitely a gym in this town, right? Oh, there it is. It's behind the suppository building. Uh... Well, this is weird. Is this meant to happen? Hey there, invisible champ in the making. Oh dear, the far end of this gym is Devon. Your goal is to make it across the gym and defeat him in battle. But hold on a minute, it won't be that easy. You're inv- Oh good. Good, I thought it was a bug for a second there. <laughs> Devon is a firm believer that you need to find yourself before you can fight others. Devon won't fight you until you've found the four flowers and found yourself again. That was, uh, some nice alliteration. Well done. Best of luck. Well, there's a flower. Apparently we can just walk past that trainer. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Find all the flowers and I'm back to normal. Whoa. Hi. He can see those who can't see themselves. Well, luckily, I can see myself. So you won't have to prove that. Tackle. That means uh, that means genitalia in uh, in some regions, in some dialects. This is some good missing. I sure love missing. What is it about Pokemon that it just completely lies and cheats and steals? It's it's the Eddie Guerrero of fucking. Uh, RPGs. Like, oh, your accuracy's been lowered by 10%. I guess you'll never hit another move ever again. Guarantee as soon as I switch in here, he's going to bring out the physical moves and just one-shot me. Oh no, he's just going to sand attack Horus too. That's fine. That's fine, you do that. Oh look, looks like I'm never hitting another attack. You know, it's very hard to find yourself when some guy's throwing sand in your eyes repeatedly. There we go, we did one. Now if we can just do that again, yes, excellent. You sir are a fucking douche nozzle. Yes I will change Pokemon because Horus can't see shit right now. It's all down to Custard, why is he called Custard? I want to know where my, where my mindset was coming from at the time. I was like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll well, hasn't even been sand attacked yet. I think the guy was using Bide anyway, so I'll just tail whip him for a bit while he's doing that. Yeah, like naming all my Pokemon after, like, names, right? They had they had names that began with the same letters as, as their, their Pokemon type, which which is, is, is an idea. I can get behind that. But Custard isn't a name, Joe. It's not a name. Admittedly, a female name beginning with CU is is difficult. But how about Marie Curie? <laughs> so yeah, that's clever. That's clever. As clever as I get, anyway. Hey, are you there? Tricky to find flowers when you can't see yourself, isn't it? Not really, I did it just just fine. Having the Cubone follow me helped, honestly. Um, gave me a bit of a hint. I know Custard's gonna die here, but... Wouldn't really be our switching him out, to be honest. Down you go. Horus. So this is going to be a fighting gym, which is a bit awkward. Because I don't have a flying type, I don't have my Moltres yet. Nor do I have a psychic type. I can't even remember what else beats fighting. 
But, uh... It's not water or grass, I can tell you that much. Okay, this fucker's biding, so we need to kill it quickly. Preferably now. Oh, no, never mind. Did they, like, buff Bide at some point? I don't really know. Like, I know it was fucking awful in Gen 1. Because it took, like, five turns to go off and your Pokemon would always die before it did anything. So maybe if they dropped it to two... I suppose that might make it slightly more functional. Still just not as good as, like, Counter or Miracote, though, is it? Or, you know, just attacking your enemy. <laughs> just hitting them in the face. Fucking annoying to fight against, though, admittedly. Especially once you've already, uh... Already decided you're gonna go down the route of attacking. Already committed to an attack. And it's just a case of trying to kill it before it unleashes, which is, is, is an issue. Doesn't always go, go quite as planned. I'll say I like these shadows. They're a bit weird to have, like, dynamic shadows in a fucking... Pokemon sprite game, but uh, not even sure the modern Pokemon games have sprites. Never mind these ones. All right, time to lose to the gym leader. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm invisible again. Didn't even notice. That's how debilitating it was. <laughs> it was such a difficult mechanic that I didn't even acknowledge its existence. There we go. Right now we can lose to the gym leader. Do I get the feeling he's going to have a Lucario? Or is that a Riolu? I can't really tell. I don't have a chance. He's probably right. I mean, look at that goatee. It's the goatee of a man who means business. Oh, it sort of disappeared in his sprite. He just looks really happy. He's literally just got the curly line and two... He's got the, the, the colon bracket face. Taking the whole anime thing a bit far, I think. Good lear. I feel very uncomfortable with this situation, especially considering Custard is a female. Okay, this matchup means business. He's setting himself up for, for the big leagues. It's fine, you lear me, I'll tail whip you. It seems like a fair trade off. Seems like he's kind of wasting his, his effort though, because I mean, this is my weakest Pokemon. Leering it is not really going to do much good to my team overall. Especially if I just, you know, kill him. Just headbutt him down. Look at that, level 10. Very good. All my Pokemon are only gaining defense. Never mind. I guess I don't need, I don't need any attacking. This is level 15, fuck's sake. Oh dear. See what I mean? Count was way better than Bide. <laughs> As evidenced. Oh well. Try countering this bitch. I guess quick attack works too. That will also get you the results you had in mind. How does it know rock throw? Of course he did. Of course he fucking did. I might have to buy some potions. I don't normally do it in Pokemon games because you just get thrown fucking hundreds of them anyway. Game just doesn't stop pouring them down your inventory, but. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage because I don't have any. <laughs> this guy's got a fucking level 15. Um It's alright, we're gonna we're gonna set up here. Get the paralysis. We'll get the we'll get the leech seed. He'll rock throw me, but that's fine. We can live with that. And then we'll start absorbing. And get some of them health points back. 
And I could technically kill it quicker with the... Uh, with headbutt. But... This way I get to recover a bit of health. Hope, helpfully, help, hopefully. Help, helpfully, hopefully recover some health. Which we can... Uh, yeah, we go back to full health in preparation for whatever his final Pokemon is, which is presumably going to be even higher level. No, it's a level 12 Meditite. He's almost lost, it's time to turn it around. Okay. Is that how you turn it around? You waste a fucking turn. Good job. That's fine, you bide. You bide, bro. I don't mind. I'll just be here doing things. Considering he's paralyzed, he sure is capable of evading attacks pretty well. Don't think uh, Pokemon Game Freak guys really understand what paralyzed means. Nearly done. Unless he's going to pull out another... Oh, he healed from something there. I wasn't really paying attention. About to make a, a jape about him having infinite potions, but it, it turns out he really did have some sort of healing item. Presumably a berry. Oh well. I won. Because Sharina is a boss. A bow house. Oh, you're pretty good. I'm obligated to give you this discipline badge. I'm aware that every voice I do in this game so far has been uh, different, regardless of whether it's the same person or not. But uh, you can have this TM too. It's Brick Break. Oh, that is a nice, nice TM you gave me there. I quite like Brick Break. It's a very useful move. Technical machine or a TM for sure is a device that you can you can break through defenses. I hope you find it helpful. Interestingly, none of his Pokemon used Brick Break, so I guess he just didn't fancy using the TM. What the fuck's an IV stone? What's this do? Hey, we have an IV stone. Um, got fire stone, we got an amulet coin, may as well give that to someone. I like how we've got Aerodactylite as well. You know, the thing that allows Aerodactyl to mega evolve. I'm sure that's going to be super useful right now. Hmm, Custard can learn it. Mm. TM's reusable here. Yeah. Still got flash, so yeah, I presume so. Go on, we'll give it him. I mean, he's still carrying growl. I can't imagine that's going to be much use to me. Oof. Poof. It's alright, I can use that term. Pokemon used it, so it can't be a slur. If you call someone a poof, it just means they're learning a new ability. Come on, heal up. We got places to be. We, we did beat the gym. Which, as I recall, means there's an item for us in that cave. I'm aware we're meant to be moving that one and getting out of town now, but the th there's things to be had, and I like things. Things make me feel all tingly inside. That's a fucking onyx. Hello, fucking onyx. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna bother trying to get an onyx because I don't know how this works. Because onyx, I believe, evolves through trade and this as far as i know isn't online capable so uh, i don't know how we would trade an onyx to to get a steelix i feel like we got we got cubone on the team though so he's he's covering the the earthy elements sorry i keep calling him cubone when his name is clearly custard you know that's a sensible thing to call a, a pokemon 
Push it aside then. Do it. Get that shit out of my face. There we go. We got one dolly. The fuck is that? What 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 is that? A strange device for pushing things. Replacement for HM strength. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I am all about that. So you need to, you get the HMs, so you do need to still consider them to a degree. But then you presumably get items to replace them. So you don't need to keep the HMs on your team for good. You can, you can, you don't have to have a fucking Pokemon running around with cut when you're fighting the Elite Four because, oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's 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 better than the the Poke Ride thing that that the actual Pokemon games did. Saying that right right now, right here, right now. Right, then. I would love to move strength. The strength of custard! Proper British custard, that. Strong enough to move boulders. I don't know what the fuck I meant by that, but... It sounded good, didn't it? That's a kitty cat. Keep forgetting that this game has like all the Pokemon in it. Like all of them. Everyone that ever existed. Maybe not the latest gen actually. I don't know how old this game is, but certainly uh I mean if it's got Mega Evolutions in it, it's gotta be at least fairly recent. Can I talk to you? You work at the daycare. It's an exciting job. You're also a trainer apparently. Didn't see that coming, genuinely. I, I thought she was just gonna gonna have a chat with me. Oh, Ponyta! I like Ponyta. It's a horse that's on fire. Wow, that did nothing. Let's switch to the water type, shall we? Probably should have used a ground move against the Ponyta, really, because I hear they're weak against such things. Jesus Christ, this thing's a beast. Why are you so strong, Ponyta? More dangerous than anything the fucking gym leader had. Oh well. A victory is a victory. More defense for Custard. He's trying to learn something. I didn't see what it was. Headbutt. No, we have strength. That's more powerful, I think. I think she just hit on me. I think that just happened. I'm a ten year old boy. This is inappropriate. I'm gonna be telling my supervisor. You're gonna get such a disciplinary. Two more of them and you'll lose your job, mate. But be careful with what you say to people. Reet then. Onwards and downwards. What do we have here? Ghastly. I really want one of them. Alright, thanks. I never I never really was into Gengar as much as some people were. It's an okay design. But I don't know. I don't I don't really get the Gengar hype. Generally speaking, when things, heads and bodies are a single entity, I'm... Can I... Y you know, if this fucker's gonna be a fucking fucker about it, then I'm gonna fucking fuck it. Alright. Alright. 
Not really as much damage as I was hoping, but alright. I suppose I have been growled about eight times. Sort of considering catching one of these. There's a dark type, right? I feel like they're generally quite useful to have. Sweet dollar tea from Mac McDonald's! McDonald's! Wait, super hot fire, I spit that. Two and a half men, I... This is... This is, a uh, Fucking... Yeah, super hot fire. That guy, the guy who said a minute ago, is, is, is the meme man. The meme rapper man. Why are you in this Pokemon game, Mr. Meme Rapper Man? Also, why are you white now? Pretty certain you're not you're not white. And you don't have purple hair. Then again, there probably aren't any black sprites in, in Game Freak's catalogue because they don't like black people. That's true, by the way. You don't need to fact check it. It's 100% accurate. Game Freak hate black people. They secretly hate that Reggie's got such a powerful position in Nintendo because, you know, he's, there's a little bit of colour in there, and there's a little bit. Not a pure blood. Oh. Why are my videos inciting racial hatred now? Why have I sunk this low? Gives me something to do though, doesn't it? I don't want to do that. I want to put Horace at the front because Horace needs XP more than Custard because Custard is not useless. Oh, hello. It's that dude from Pokemon Diamond. What a beautiful region. You. You remind me of someone. Someone I knew. They say that this region is a haven for legendary Pokemon. Legendaries are powerful, but don't get corrupted by them. If you're anything like that kid I knew, well, you have enough trouble under your own. Have a nice day. Bye, creepy man. I will see you later. I'm going to speak to Mr. Fishing Man now. I enjoy just sitting here, staring out over the water. It's very relaxing. Hey, have you ever been fishing? No. Well, you better learn how then. Take this. Old Rod. You think I want a fucking magic up? You think I'm interested? It's pretty low quality, but it works like a charm. You stand by the body of water and use it from your bag. No. Fucking make me. Oh shit. This guy's uh he's in no hurry, is he? There we go. <laughs> he caught he caught us up eventually. This guy's uh, obviously a bit out of shape. I've been studying these two Pokemon and they're very powerful. Would you like to have a look? <laughs> Come on, what are they then? What are your super powerful Pokemon? Bulbasaur! Shit! Was not ready for Bulbasaur. Not prepared for that at all. In fact, my entire team is a little bit fucked by a strong grass type, if I'm brutally honest. I guess we'll go with Sharina. I believe he's immune to both Leech Seed and Stun Spore, which isn't ideal. <laughs> Maybe we can cough. Maybe we can just cough. Oh, I'm not immune to sleep powder, so maybe he's not immune to stun spawn. Maybe that thing isn't in this game. <laughs> Grass types being immune to powders. I'm sure that is a thing. I'm sure I didn't make that up. Oh well. The old uh, keep headbutting approach seems to be working out for me, kinda. As long as this guy keeps missing with his poison powder. Okay, he hit with his poison powder. It's fine though. It's fine. We can we can battle through it. Yay! What else you got? A Pidgey. A Pidgey. A Pidgey. A Pidgey. This guy is just like. Everyone who ever played Red and Blue just as they reach Mount Moon. 
It's just a Pidgey and their starter. Maybe a Pikachu if they were lucky enough to stumble into one. Oh, it didn't die. I did considerably less damage with the second water gun. And now I'm going to miss every attack because it sand attacked me once. And that's how Pokemon works. Hey. Hey. What a load of scrotal sauce. Uh, Custard, get in there. You can do it, Custard. I believe in you. I always have a moment whenever I send out a ground type against a flying type where I'm like, this ain't gonna work. And then I remember I can just use attacks that aren't aren't ground attacks. I mean, I still just lost, evidently. Still didn't exactly uh, work out for me, did it? But uh, that's not the point. Can we kill it now? Thank you. Good. Better. We did it. I don't really want to keep going because I'm a bit fucked now. A little bit a little bit on the back foot. A little bit uncomfortable with this scenario. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to town. And when I get back to town, I don't know why I keep calling it town, Superior City. Ugh, it's not really any better than the stupid name one, is it? But uh, now we're here. Gonna have a save. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop playing here. That was probably enough Pokemon for the next six months. If you're following this series, then keep your eyes peeled because one day, one day there will be a part three. Next time I'm bored of whatever else I'm playing. So uh, be prepared for that. And in the meantime, stay frosty. I hate myself.